You started us. Well, you I'm, looked at me, so <laughs> I'm impressed. You never started. Well, us you off. were looking at me, so I just said hi. I was putting you on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. It is Sneak Sniffs. I just realized I have something in my eye. This is going to be so much fun. Nice. Um, so it's Sneak Sniffs for May. We're getting better. We were late last month. Today we're on May 1st. That's good. Um, because most of you haven't, even if you ordered this today, it wouldn't come for a week. So we're still ahead of the game, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So as usual, Sarah and I come to you and we like to give you our very first um, sniff and well, I always get to see what the warmer looks like, but we give we like to give you a live snake sniff where we smell it for the very first time and give you what we think about what's going on with the new scent of the month. So, here's our box. I popped it open because I don't want to deafen you guys with all the noise, but this is the cute little box that we receive every single month. We have not gotten into this. Oh, there's presents in here. Look at that. We so Scentsy sent us a whole bunch of samples of our bath and body line for um, the men and the women, the in line and the groom line. So that's cool. So I've got extra samples. I thought you were going to say bath and body Thank words. you. Please enjoy the enclosed complimentary gift from us. That's always a nice surprise. Okay. I always break this down because... It's so fun. I mean, seriously. Okay, $35 is what I spend for this little box. In this box comes 10 bars, a room spray, two different size testers, 75 scratch and sniff stickers, um, 50 brochures. Anyhow, it's $35, but I get paid commission off of that, so I get 25% of it back. Um, so these bars that usually retail for five dollars a piece, I end up spending like a dollar eighty a piece on these. So if you were a Sensi consultant, you could get one of these every single month. Cool. All right. So let's break it down. Scratch and sniff stickers, flyers. Look at this side though, because we don't want to reveal the cute new warmer of the month yet. So we have our couple of testers. Don't smell them yet. Here's our room spray. Most of you know that when I do a home party with you all, I usually leave one of these in the bathroom for a potty prize because it's funny and because I like giving stuff away. So I usually take these and give them away at my parties. And then like I said, can you see in there? 10 bars. Ready? For you. For me. But don't smell it yet. Oh my gosh, it came out like so well. <laughs> All right, so the scent of the month for May is called Cambridge. It's very pretty. It's gray. Can you see that? All of our bars have their own unique design on the um, front of the bar. So they're just beautiful in itself. So this kind of looks super classy to me, and I'm guessing by gray, it might be a masculine scent. I don't know. May? That's usually Mother's Day. Let's see. Okay, so Sarah, check out Sarah's bar. She flips hers upside down, which is really a good point. Did you know that when you buy your wax from Walmart, if you get like a vanilla scent, it's just vanilla. If you get a scent that is, um, I don't know, citrus and basil, it's going to be like lemon and basil. But when you buy a scent from Scentsy and it's called <laughs> Lemon Thyme Berry, it's not only going to have lemon and thyme and berry in it, but there's going to be a whole bunch of different notes added on top of that. There's usually a good five to eight different ingredients in all of our scents, and we call them notes. Um, and as you're warming your scent, you're going to smell the different notes. Not that the scent is going to change over time, but when it's first strong, you're going to smell like the key notes, the lemon, thyme, berry. Then as you're burning off that scent, you're going to start to pull in some of the other softer notes, the lower notes and the higher notes. So we flip our bars out upside down like this because our wax is super, super concentrated with the oils. The oils are going to tend to pull to the bottom because of gravity. So every single ingredient of the wax, all those, all the different notes are going to be settled here at the bottom. So when you smell the top, you're going to get an idea. I cheated. 
you're gonna you're gonna get an idea of what it smells like but if you smell the bottom you're gonna get a really really good idea of what it's like same thing with um, if you've ever been with me and you're smelling my testers and I tell you take the pad of your thumb or your fingertip and rub the wax you're kind of warming it up you're pulling all the notes to the top so are you ready to smell can you smell mine do you smell it Barely. okay it's different okay ready smell I have no idea what's in this. Again, it's called Cambridge. It's gray. It definitely, to me, is um, masculine. a masculine scent. What do you think you smell in it? I can't figure it out. I know there's something, but I forgot what it's called. Like a food? Or a... It kind of smells like something of a food. Okay, this is weird. Oh, I think I put the oils on my nose. I don't have enough breath to eat that like... <laughs> Um, I kind of think it smells tobacco-y. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, like I don't know a, what that smells like. Like when a man is, oh wait, nope, 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 I just nope, caught something. So. Um, oh, what was the, I know, I the know. gum that grandpa makes us chew? Not black, what is um, that gum called? Not the like one that smells gold. like black licorice, but the, Molasses, oh, I don't dad, know. I wish you were on here to tell me. <laughs> Oh, what is that word? <laughs> Boy, we're, we're really awful to watch when we can't think of our words. In a way, it kind of smells like, like, you know how sometimes water has that smell? Water? Like, like tap water. You know, it kind of smells. <laughs> it kind of smells like that. <laughs> to no, it doesn't smell like tap water. That's weird. It well, would smell like hoses it has or plastic. Like a hint, a hint. Okay, according to this one, it has like a tap water smell. It does not. It <laughs> smells like um, tobacco, like pipe tobacco. I don't know what that smells. Gosh, what is that gum called? Not blackjack, <laughs> but the other one. Anybody? Are you on here? Does anybody know what gum I'm talking about? It's from way back, like when my dad was a kid. And you can still find it in old candy shops. And he used to buy it for me. It's like burgundy colored. So it's cinnamon. It's not cinnamony, <laughs> but it's like spicy smelling. Clove! Who are you? Amy Martinez. Thank you so much. That was it. I can smell it. That was it. That's it. It's that That's clove. That's the foody smell I smell. Okay. They, oh, Amy, you made my day. I'm so <laughs> happy that you type that out because now we can go forward. Okay. All right, let's open it up and we're gonna read what is, I got the thumbs up, thank you. Um, we're gonna read what's inside. Clove, duh, da, 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 da. All 50 <laughs> flyers almost hit the floor. Here. Okay, let's see what's inside of it. Cambridge. Oh, I, I, I. Oh, we are so wrong. <laughs> Um, yeah, go ahead. What's inside? Sweet lemon and pine needle with an intriguing dash of... Vetiver. Vetiver. Wow. I can smell the pine needle, kind of. You can? But not lemon. Not lemon at all. I don't smell that. I think it smells like pipe tobacco. Like that really I good, that scented like. pipe tobacco. My dad used to... Grandpa used to smoke a pipe, and it just smells good. It's not like cigarette tobacco. It's like the good earthy which might be the pine tobacco I can that's smell my opinion the pine. I can so smell the pine. again if you didn't hear her it is sweet lemon I don't smell lemon but that might ma make what's kind of sweet about I, this I, I think of lemon as being tangy um, I can feel the oil. <laughs> pine needle but it doesn't smell like a Christmas tree at all it's like a different pine like the out outdoors like pine. the wood part of yeah, the pine like when you go although hiking. it says needle but yeah, it has that outdoor hikey and the hiking in the pines kind of smell. Like when we go hiking. And then vetiver, isn't that a grass? I don't know. I've never heard of it. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I like it. It's outdoorsy and it's kind of manly. It kind of smells like cocoa. Yeah, but it's soft enough that I think you could burn this like I think a lady would enjoy this. It almost mm -hmm. has like a feminine quality to it. It's like cologne. I don't know, I like it. It's a nice change a cologne like, like a cologne plus you can smell the pine it's like a cologne 
that girls would like to. She's talking. I'm so impressed. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so this would be a good like bedroom scent. Um, I don't know. There's just something really. The top smells so different. I think it kind of smells the same. Smells Anyhow, better. I think it kind of smells like tobacco, but in a good way. Has a sweet quality to it. Smells outdoorsy. If you're thoroughly confused by our video at this point, <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs right this second. As soon as I hit the, the end, the finish button, I'm going to go downstairs and make samples. Please, please comment below and I will send you a sample. And then you can come back onto this and send me a little comment and let me know what you think. But I think I like it. I'm going to yeah, have to burn this smell, and see what I think. It smells really good. She I like likes it. One. Okay. So that is the scent of the month, and as always, it's 10% off, so this $5 bar will be available for $4.50. It will also be available in the room spray and the scent circle, and both of those will be 10% off. So that is $2.30. No, $2.70 for the scent circle and $8, so that would be $7.20 for the room spray. It's a nice change. I like it. The scent? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's a really unique one that we haven't had for, um, we haven't had something unique like that come through. Okay, so moving on to the warmer of the month. I did not subscribe to this one. It's a pretty, pretty small niche of, um, that's not it. That's it. Well, it's what it's based off of. It's a pretty small niche, um, kind of like our old camera warmer. You had to be a photographer to really, really enjoy and love that unless you had a room that was done in old black and white photos or something. Anyhow, that's kind of how this one is. Um, so I did not purchase this warmer of the month, but it is cute. It's really, really unique. So Sarah's going to show it to you. The typewriter. It's a typewriter and it's called QWERTY. Um, it's normally going to retail for $30 but it's going to be on sale for the month of May for only $27. So this would be a really cute warmer for um, like Secretary's Day. I don't oh, know when that's I coming up. <laughs> Stacy, I knew you would like this one. You like that old vintage stuff. Um, we had to explain to our kids what a typewriter was because it's I beyond their concept. <laughs> Well, you know what it is, but how it worked. We were watching, um, what was that movie, Hidden Figures, and it was oh, in there. Oh, yeah, and you had to, like, push it. Yeah, yeah, they thought it was really weird that you had to push it back and forth, and you'd have to back up and use the corrective tape. Anyhow, it's really a cute warmer. So it's going to be an element warmer. There is no light bulb involved in it, and I'm here. Here's another shot. So the top comes off. I showed them that. Oh, you did. Okay, good job. So the top is going to come off, and the wax is going to go inside. And then when the lid goes back on, you'll see it's like got a ton of vents, vent holes at the very top. So when the lid is back on, it's going to let all that air out. But then you get the full effect of that entire typewriter um, with the roll bar on it. So again, it's an element warmer. It's called QWERTY. It would retail for $30, but this month it's on sale for $27. Um, yes, Stacy, the scent of the month is called Cambridge. I don't know. I, I'll get you a sample for sure because I said earlier that I thought oh. I smelled clove in it and I know you hate clove, <laughs> but there's no clove in it. So um, I'll make you a sample and leave it on your doorstep so that you can take a sniff at it. It's very, very different. It's sweet lemon, pine needle, and vetiver, which is kind of hard to describe. I think that's a hard one to kind of put together <laughs> instead of saying orange and vanilla. Um, so I'll make you a sample and leave it with you, <laughs> your big old, no, no clue. Um, so anyhow, again, this would be great for, um, it, well, I was going to say teacher appreciation, but teachers don't use typewriters. It just reminds me of something fun that you would give if you have a vintage room or you have somebody that has a vintage room um, or Secretary's Day. I really think that would be a fun gift to set on their desk and they could keep their office smelling good. Um, how big is it? Because then if you could. Is it like that big or is it normal? That is a really great question. Because so look, it looks really small. So she's saying it looks like it's a small warmer in comparison to this coffee mug. And typically we have the dimensions on so here. Four, four and a half It's inch. four and a half inches tall, which I'm guessing it's probably about six inches. I'm going to guess it's about this big. Does that make sense? 
Er, er, er. There's my head. No, it's probably <laughs> like this. Oh, I went cross-eyed for a second. Um, is the size of the elements. So our element warmers sometimes can get big these days. I think this is going to kind of go back um, to our old school element warmers. I don't think it's going to be as small. Um, but it's not going to be a big bulky one. Like uh, the no warmer, good heaven six alive. He was ginormous. He was almost 10 inches tall. Nothing like that. This <laughs> one's going to be four and a half inches tall. And my guess is maybe about six inches in diameter. Um, I don't see where they have the size listed on here. So that was a good question. Very good question. And you know what? I'll dig it up and I'm going to add it to the um, comments below. So if you're curious about how big it is, I will add that on. I can search on Google if you want. That's okay. We can do it in a minute because I think we've taken up everybody's time because the scent is so unique and it's it's actually really good, but we couldn't figure it out and I think we stalled and stalled <laughs> and stalled. So again, <laughs> Stacy, you make me laugh. So again, if you are interested in getting a sample, just comment below. It's not going to cost you anything. If you're close to me, I'll leave it on your doorstep. If you're not, I'll just shoot it in the mail. But then you can check out this new this new scent in a sample form. I tried to smush the two words together. Scent. I really think I like it. It's a strong one. So if you like strong scents, this one's for you. Oh, I just threw that. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything to add? Have a good day. Have a good day. Um, we already got, like you get a little, it's part of my world, the box right here. We'll come at you in about um, three weeks, and that is for what is that? June. Already? Yeah, it's already here. Remember, we get them early now, and I'll be getting July's here any time now. Did so, you do the warmer then? Since it's so I don't know why that's so big. I really don't know why. Maybe there's another present inside. I did not order the warmer, I don't think. Anyhow, oh. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. We will make some samples right now. We're going to head downstairs and make these samples out, and we're ready to send them out by tomorrow. So let me know if you're interested in any. All right, thanks so much. This is May, so I can order it now. Yes, Cambridge is for May. QWERTY is for May, and it will be 10% off. In about three weeks, towards the very end of this month, we're going to come at you with June, so that we're a little like a week early for you on that. But yes, Stacy, this is 10% off uh, for the typewriter, because I know you're interested in that. So, um, right back at you, baby. All righty, ready? We good? Time to go make samples? We'll catch you later. Thanks.